How's it guys? My name is Karen and I'm just going to show you guys how to build um, Google Mock for Windows and MinGW. So basically uh, what you want is you need MinGW. Um, I've got, I've already installed it but I will show you what you need specifically within MinGW, what libraries you need. But basically just go on Google, search MinGW, go to download and there's a new um, thing called, um, what's it called? It's something like, yeah, MinGW get setup. Right, and um, that one, what it gives you is, um, it's, uh, it's a little GUI that you can select what you want, what libraries and everything you want. Um, so I've already got that. And the other thing that you want to get is Google Mock. So we're going to go to um, the Google Mock website. Okay, now I'm building 1.6. I know that 1.7 is out, but I've actually had problems with that one um, after compiling. Um, so let's just stick with 1.6. And if you want to do 1.7... Maybe do it and then make a video and then I'll use that to compile it for myself. So basically, this is what I've got now. I've got 1.6 and um, I'm going to, I've got this MinGW setup. Um, I've already got it installed. So it's MinGW installation manager, MinGW installation manager. Okay, so basically this is what you get um, when you've installed it. And um, it allows you to upgrade basically or select what libraries you want. Within the libraries, what you want is you want these POSIX thread, threading libraries. Um, anything that has libp thread basically is what you need because um, Google Mock to compile actually requires p thread. So this is the main one, MinGW p threads. Okay, it's going to put the p thread um, library in your MinGW installation. Okay, then what you've got to do is you've got to add MinGW to path. I'm going to show you what happens when you don't have um, MinGW in path. So basically, if I go to advanced settings, I'm just going to take it out of path for now. So I had it in like that. Okay, so basically, now if I want to use um, command prompt and I want to use G++, see, nothing, it doesn't know what's going on, right? It doesn't know that G, G++ exists. But I have installed G++ and it's in my MinGW folder, which is in my C drive. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to go to my bin folder within MinGW, copy that directory, go to your advanced system settings, environmental variables, and find the path variable, the Windows path variable. And basically what this does is makes it so that when you call a command, command prompt will look through these folders to see if the, if the um, command exists, right? So basically now if I have command prompt and I go G++, there we go. Now you can see that G++ is actually working and it just says, okay, there are no input files, so there's my error. Okay, so that's all sorted. Next thing what we've got to do is um, we've got to actually compile Google Mock. Um, I, I, I know that a lot of people like to have different versions of um, these libraries and everything on their computers. Uh, in my case, I don't, so I'm just going to put it straight into a folder called G Mock. Um, I, if you want a different version, then you can have subdirectories after this point okay so basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna open the readme folder that they give you and within the readme folder it tells you there's actually a, a quite a nice section on um, general a generic build instruction right so this is now for anyone that's building pretty much on any system that has G++ you can kind of pretty much use this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build I'm gonna make a batch file okay the reason I'm making a batch file is that you can just double click it and um, it will it will do all of the commands for you and so it just makes it easier so that's why I'm just making a batch batch file so let me just go like this and paste this now these are the commands that you're supposed to use right so these are going to be the commands that I use to build Google mock okay but obviously this this dollar G test um, directory and stuff those are all f uh, for Linux basically you can set environmental variables and the dollar basic is kind of like a dereference sort of thing it actually gives you what the value of that um, variable is okay now obviously I'm I'm in Windows so I'm gonna go and take this G test directory and I'm actually gonna copy I'm gonna go and find my Google test directory okay now I pasted those files from Google mock in C Google mock then within that they give you Google test okay so this is my Google test directory okay so all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna search and replace but I need to replace the whole thing I need to replace dollar squiggly bracket uh, Google test directory close squiggle squiggly bracket 
going to replace that whole thing with that. Okay, replace all. Okay, so don't worry about the backslash forward slash um, G++ sorts that out. And then we've also got to actually just put the Google mock install directory, right? And that's going to be this one, Google mock directory. So we're going to also replace that with, whoops, with the Google mock directory. Okay, done. So basically now what it's got is that it's going to include Google, um, the uh, files in Google mock test, Google mock include, Google mock test include, all of that stuff, right? And it's going to build it and then create this libmock.a file. So uh, what I'll do is I'll add a pause at the end of that and so that we can actually see that it's worked. So I'm just going to double click that and we are running. Okay, so basically, as long as you've got the same uh, directory structure as I do, you could actually run this exact build file and it would do the exact same thing. And you'll find here libgmock.a has been created. So this is my this is my library file. 